All right, you guys. I guess you guys gonna be cooking with me tonight because I gotta cook pepper and a little bit of other type of seasons in there that I like. And season your meat how you season your meat. I'm not gonna go into measurements with you. You know how to season some ground beef, I'm sure. I like for my, my meat to have flavor. Let me tell y'all one of my pet peeves, though. You know I watch all these cooking shows on um on YouTube. Y'all know the one thing that get on my nerves over and over again, and the clicking and the clacking works my nerves to the fullest. Come on, people. You have this 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 um cookware that you are not supposed to scratch up because you know when you scratch it up on the inside it starts having everything sticking to it. Please use your plastic wear. That's why they send it to y'all. Use the plastic wear. I don't want to hear the clinking and the clanking and the... My nerves bad. I ain't going to be able to do it. So I got a medium sized onion, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my meat now. I already put some steak season in there. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Hey, I can't sing, but I so can try. <laughs> All right, so I also use a pack of um, onion soup seasoning. That stuff comes in handy for a lot of things, you guys. I'm going to need y'all to get hit to that. If you can't cook, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm going to get up and close. I'm hot, y'all. If you cannot cook, Put some onion seasoning on, on, on everything that you cook. I bet you it tastes 20 times better than your previous mistakes. I'm really trying to hurry up and get this done, y'all, because um, I'm tired. I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to be, you know, a trooper and get this in for y'all. That's my child in the back, y'all. All right, so we got her, got that done up in there. So um, I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic season in there also, just a little, just a little. And we're gonna let that go ahead and start cooking. It won't take long. How was everybody day today? I'm gonna tell y'all. Mine was a doozy. I had I got a lot of work to do at work, and I need to get my mind right and focus. I need to go get tested, everybody. I think I might have some ADD, attention deficit disorder for real, because my focus is horrible. What can we talk about? Let's talk. I know what we can talk about while I cook. Um. I'm going to talk about how I'm not a good friend, y'all. I know it. I know I'm not a good friend. And I can't honestly say that I... I try. I, I do, but I don't. You know? Um, I would say my friendships, sad to say, are probably 80-20. And I'm the 20, you guys. I'm the 20. I'm trying, but it, it ain't easy. I mean... I just be so exhausted. It ain't enough hours in the day. And the, the way my account is set up is as soon as I walk through the door, if I sit down, it's a done one. It is. Um, let me see. I wanted to write down everybody who commented on my first video because I was going to shout y'all out. So that's something I'm going to start doing on my next video. I know who the number one person that was comment that commented to me. I can't recall her name offhand, but I'm I'm gonna write it down and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna give a shout out to those people. I don't want to name people and I can't remember everybody. I'm gonna need y'all to share. This is a quick, easy little recipe. I can We'll see. Yeah. I need a drink, y'all. Ooh, ooh. I just do it my way. She 
She's gonna make her way in my video somehow. <laughs> All right, my water's actually ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my rotini noodles in there. Let them cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. We're gonna keep it simple. I just got my tripod, y'all. I don't know all that. I got a little remote to it. I want to push the button, but I'm scared it's gonna stop, y'all. <laughs> and I'm gonna mess something up, so we ain't gonna go there, okay? So this meat is browning up pretty good. What I'm also gonna do is go ahead and preheat my oven. Let's do that. I'm just gonna go to 365 for now. This is like the most one, especially if you got kids, it's a nice little hearty, quick meal. All right. Um, and I also have some cheeses. I prefer mozzarella, so I have mozzarella cheese and I have a blended cheese. Um, Kobe and Jack mixed together, and this is good served with some garlic bread. So, I also got them some garlic bread. This is like a meal that the kids always ask for. I make it on holidays when you know, you know, when you're cooking like Thanksgiving and Christmas, and you just need some extra size to fill in for you know, extra company. I make a big can of that too, and it's gone. But yeah, I'm not a good friend, y'all. I gotta say that I have been blessed with... First of all, I don't let a lot of people in my circle. I, be, I, I truly believe family over anything. But y'all know family can do you wrong too. Don't get it twisted. But I believe in family over anything. It's, uh, we, it's five kids in the... Well, we down to four kids in the house. Amen. The process of elimination. They moving around. That's what we need. Grow up and move out. Mama love you from a distance. Mwah. <laughs> For real. So my grandson moved out. He's one with his mama. She finna be 21. She got her own place. Sort of, kind of. Because I'm we foot in the bill. But anyways, um, if you caught that good, if you did, no well. Happy birthday emoji. It ain't my birthday. It's mine. No. Mine. I don't know why she's trying to take over my video, but I'm about to dismiss her. Y'all want me to dismiss the, the, the child over in the corner? I'm about to dismiss her, y'all. This me coming along very well, really quick, so that's good. Um, I think I'm just going to put a little more seasoning in there because I hate some bland food. I do. And like I said, you season it to your desire, to your taste. I actually think I'm going to open up a window, y'all. We There you go. That's good. And like I said, I got that, that onion season in there, too. Okay. Ooh, I try, you know, I, my problem is I probably only got a handful of friends. The friends that I've had, I've had for years. I recently had a really close friend that passed on. I mean, she was my ace in Texas. I'm sorry. I'm originally from Wisconsin. We moved from Wisconsin eight years ago. It was the best decision I ever made. But anyways, yeah. Um, I only got a handful of close friends, like my best friend, she's still in Wisconsin, focus, she's still in Wisconsin, she's been my friend since I was a sophomore in high school and she was a freshman, shout out Sandra, I love you Sandra, um, yeah, she's been my friend, best friend ever since then, we pick up where we leave off, when I come in town, we like this, and then I have my friends here, my really close friends now. Those are people that I actually let in my house, so you, that's a selective hand 
select a few. And they've probably been around me for the last three or four years. And like I said, I'm not a good friend. They have stuff that they do, their events, or want to go out or want to have brunch. And I start off wanting to go. I always want to go, but the follow through ain't there. <laughs> the follow through is not there. And it needs to do. B, I'm going to get better. Y'all y'all going to hold me accountable. I'm going to get better with that. Life is too short not to be having fun and kicking it. And... So I'm going to go ahead and throw in my pasta. My rotini noodles. I'm going to do a box and a half. It may be too much, but I'd rather have too much than too little. Yeah, that's about a box and a half. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Move them around a little bit. And I also put like a tablespoon of oil in my water just because to me, it feel like it prevents them from sticking together. Um, I like to clean up as I go because I can't stand a nasty house. All right. So y'all want to see it to me? Let me show y'all. See that ground beef brownie? Yes. Let me show y'all. See that? Uh oh. There you go. Ground beef cooking good, and it smells good too, y'all. All right. So that's good. That's going. But yeah, I'm gonna work on me this year. I'm gonna work on trying to get out the house more. I so much that when it's time to let me tell y'all sleep is my best friend i love me some sleep i love my pillow i love me some sleep we like this okay now as soon as that meat get done brown and i'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and, and um drain all that grease off of there i can't stand nothing greasy and because I hate washing dishes, I bought this metal pan. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. So when they done, we can throw this in the garbage. Alright. Yeah, I use my mobile phone for business and personal calls. Hey. And we're gonna learn how to edit too, y'all. That's what we're gonna work on. Hey! Welcome. I'm the DJ tonight! Alright. Okay, y'all. This meat almost done. And what we in we almost we 15 minutes in, that's so what I'm talking about. I got a little bit of cream cheese, y'all. I just put dollops in it around. Just it just do something. Makes it taste good. In a minute, all we're gonna have to do is put it together and throw it in the oven and it's gonna be a done one. And then we'll show y'all what it looked like with the finished look. And this will be something that y'all can do at home. Quick, fast, hurry. You know how you... <laughs> you ever... You know how you feel like in your head that you can really dance? And then when you try to, it, it don't come out the way you thought it would. Like in my head, I'm a dancer. <laughs> In my head, I'm a dancer, y'all. Real, real talk. But this body, <laughs> this body ain't no dancer no more. Although I did used to dance. But yeah, I'm not a good friend, and I know it. And that's something that I'm gonna work towards this year. So, shut up. So all of those things that I was, yeah, I'm, I'm going to work on being a better friend this year. It's just something that I need to do for myself, for my conscience, because I walk around feeling like I wronged a few people. So I'm going to do better. Yeah, so, as I was saying, that's my um, oldest child coming in my house. All loud. 
You want to say hi, Diamond? That's my oldest child looking like. Uh-uh, please don't bring that. Diamond, take your stuff. Come on, you. Take your Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to smile, though. I'm going to smile real tough. All right, I think my ground beef done, y'all. I got the, the oven heating up. Hi, Sahaya. Can you come speak? Yeah. Come speak to my subscriber. Say hi. She got 19. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of the liars. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. They got something to tell me, but they ain't telling me. All right. We'll find out though. I always find out. Okay. Y'all, I'm gonna set this timer for my um, noodles. They've been in there about three minutes already. So we gonna set the timer for 11 more minutes and then I'll test them. Right now we're gonna drain this meat. That wasn't bad, was it? I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna start getting out the house more because they call me. They be wanting me to go on trips, and I, I initially be like, "Yeah, I'm down." But when it get down to the nitty gritty, I'm tired. But we gonna be, we gonna work on that. I'm a y'all gonna hold me accountable. So y'all send me some questions about anything. I'm not saying I'm gonna answer, but send me, send me some questions. Um, send me some ideas for content that we can do. I'm sure we're going to be doing some clothing hauls because I'm a chopper. Kids and myself. Um, I'll be introducing my daughter's channels too. One does makeup and hair. The other one does some of everything. We making money all the time. She making money all the time, y'all. I ain't say nothing about but yeah. All right, I'm getting all this grease out this meat, and then we, I'll show y'all what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. How to make the law of attraction work for you? All right. And why it hasn't been working so far? The law of attraction has the power to bring positive things. All right, so let me clean up a little bit, and then we're gonna put the sauce in there with the meat. I'm cleaning up my mesh off. I can't stand it. The money. Can you do something? Alright. So that's good. Alright. So let's turn this heat down a little bit. I think the husband home, y'all. And I got that packet also of the the seasoning from the hamburger helper. Y'all gonna see. So I'm just pouring the sauce in with the meat. Oh, I need to work on that. Did y'all see that? Look at them arms. Did y'all see that? We gotta do better. We gotta do better. We will. Okay. So I'm using two cans for now. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this packet of the seasoning from the hamburger helper. And we're gonna pour that in there. I'm gonna show y'all what that look like. And I'm also gonna put it like a, just like a tablespoon of brown sugar in it. Tablespoon, uh, tablespoon of brown sugar to take away from the acidity of the tomato sauce. Some people use white sugar, brown sugar, whatever sugar you want to use. use Alright, let's take a look and see what that looks like right now. Alright, that's what it's looking like and we just going to blend that together. Du jour. I gave you two 
she ran, y'all. She like to take pictures, but she don't want to be on my video. Ain't that something? All right, so we gonna go ahead and stir that up. I think two cans is enough with um, two pounds of ground beef. Perfect. Just enough. If y'all want it to be all dry. So it's just like the sauce that you make when you're making um, meat spaghetti, basically. Except you're just going to put it in the pan with different noodles and put different toppings on it. But it's pretty much the same concept as a lasagna or something. I'm a, uh, and then you should taste. Please taste. Taste your meat when you cook it. Make sure it's seasoned like you want it. Let's taste this, y'all. See if I got enough everything in it. That's good. Okay. So we just gonna wait on them um, noodles. Where my baby at? Let me see him. Let me introduce him. Hey, then. Be careful, he's trying to run to you. Go Aiden, go Aiden. I need a fight. Hi, you're welcome. I ain't got nothing. Hi, you're welcome. Come here. Come here. Hi, I'm with you. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi, Woo Woo. Say hi, Woo Woo. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Where are Mimi Piggy Piggy? Where my Piggy Piggy at? Where my piggy piggy? Yay! I got my piggy piggy! Come here real quick. I'm busy. Hey, baby. Dang, you were so. What you making, lasagna? Oh, pepperoni casserole. Time to go on. Get it in my pants pocket. You make a uh, pepperoni casserole? Yes. Yeah. Y'all see that? Come, come over here. You that excited about <laughs> what? Pepperoni casserole. <laughs> Pizza casserole, y'all. That's a darn shame. I'm gonna leave him. It's in my pants pocket. No, I I can't keep him right hey, now. What, Diamond? That's I gotta check this diaper. I got some uh, pendy too. Hey. No, you do it. Uh, you got waves on. I'm gonna give it hey. about five more minutes, y'all, for my pasta, Why and then we can put everything together. Turn the heat down on your sauce, cause your sauce go cook in the oven. You can turn it off if you want to. Once you got everything blended. <laughs> My house ain't never fired. Turn it down. Get him. Yeah, I need this. You don't have to move the chair. How cool? Well, I peek. Right. That don't mean I don't do it. All right, so I'm gonna leave my my um, noodles a little. What they say, I did say a little. Don't tell her she's too loud. Take him. Um, I'm gonna leave these noodles a little bit, kind of tough. What? Be what? I'm going to leave my noodles a little bit tough because you got to think they're going to cook in the oven too and you don't want them to be mushy. So I say cook them for about 10 minutes on top of the stove. I'm going to drain them now. Okay, so we're going to start putting this together. Pick up my noodles. I'm just gonna pour the noodles in the pan. Okay, so 
let's see. I'm gonna turn off that sauce because it's gonna start popping. Okay. So we are going to start to assemble. So we're just gonna take the sauce and pour it right on in. I will start off with half just to see if that's the consistency you guys want. And just think, if you have sauce left over, put that in the refrigerator or the freezer and use it later. Don't waste no food. Okay. So that's... Let's see, y'all. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it well. Okay, so let's stir it up and see what it's going to look like. focus on the food, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my sauce in. Mom, do you want me to turn it off now? No. All right. And normally, y'all... Face it towards you, so we're talking to you. Hey. See how that looks? Y'all see that? Do you know how? Do you? All right. You see that? Y'all see how that looks? Real simple, y'all. Really, really simple. Just make sure you blend it up good because you don't want to um, leave any noodles uncovered. Okay. I wear gloves for whenever I cook. Y'all, I hate the way food, the texture of food is. All right. So, y'all see? Uh-oh. Okay. Y'all okay. I'm going to tighten up my tripod, y'all, so y'all can see the meat. See that? Yeah. For my noodles, so that's good. The heat, the <coughs> oven is preheated. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with my cheeses and my um my cream cheese. And I'm just gonna do little dollops, you know, in certain places because what's gonna happen? It'll melt down. And that combination with the regular cheese and the sauce. Once it's all heat up, it's amazing. So just take it and put dollops everywhere, y'all. You can do big ones if you want. I just like to have it evenly distributed. I hope y'all had a good day today. Mine was very uneventful, so I guess that's a good thing. Got a lot of things in the works. I don't want to talk on it until I know for sure it's going down, but I know for sure it's going down. Um, and like I said, I'm going to work on being a better friend. So for those out there who are listening that are my friends and know who I'm talking about, let's put it this way. If you've been to my house, well, no, I ain't going to say that either because I have some close ones that ain't been here yet, but I'm going to do better. Phyllis, I know you be telling me to be nice and all of that. I'm going to work on that too. I'm actually a very sweet person once you get to know me. Um, pretty much, I'll go on my way for you overall. But I do need to be a little bit nicer. I'm a little rough around the edges. And I think that's why God always sends me friends 
who are like so kind and so sweet and just so giving to teach me how to be that way. I, I think friendships are like um friendships are like relationships. You know how you and your husband how opposites attract? I think that, that goes the same you can say the same for friendships. You know, we complement each other. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a little more um, cream cheese. I would say I didn't use a little bit over a half of cream cheese. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands. I just got I get a few nights off, so I try to cook on those nights. This Miss True Red Phone. They hate when I do that. Um, first of all, I'm going to need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Previous video. I had 91 views, y'all. Look at, look at your girl. Okay. I had 91 views. Um, and only 19 subscribers. I'm going to need y'all to do better for your girl. I'm going to start shouting out my um, people who leave me comments. So make sure y'all leave me comments. Ask me questions. Give me contact con content um, ideas so we can keep this flowing. Yeah, I had to have a drink, y'all. I'm going to put my face in the camera so I can ask questions. I ain't going to tell y'all what it is. All right, so we're going to go with a two pounds of ground beef. What do you want? Go ahead, say what you got to say. Bye. That's the money, y'all. That's my baby girl. So, here we go. We got two pounds of ground beef. We already got that brownie. I got my hot water boiling for my rotini noodles. So, you'll need a, some rotini noodles. We're not going to go show y'all what it is, but show y'all what bread. We got rotini noodles. Um, you're going to need some pepperoni. So, I got... You know small bags of pepperoni maybe a one bag may be enough for you guys but in this house it's not um two and a can two and a half cans of spaghetti sauce to your liking any kind you like black olives i'm only gonna put it on half of it because i got some picky eaters in this place i'm also gonna use a packet my secret i'm telling y'all my secret so y'all owe me um I use a packet of actually hamburger helper the seasoning in there i mix that with my sauce with a little bit of brown sugar and they don't they don't complain of course we got our traditional seasoning i'm gonna use a little bit of steak seasoning in my meat because it already got the sauce and for those of y'all who didn't subscribe on the last video please go back and subscribe i'm just going to servers and just say subscribe to you go ahead and subscribe to your girl it don't hurt what they say. It's free. It's free to subscribe. She don't bite. I don't bite. I don't. I don't bite everybody. Let's put it that way. <laughs> if you put your finger on her mouth, she okay. So we gonna start with some blended cheese, please. Put some blended. That's that's. I was trying to cover her up, y'all. <laughs> so we are gonna go ahead and start with some blended cheese. And I'm using Mexican style. And again, you can use it to your taste. It's just an easy little recipe. Make it happen. Now, my favorite is mozzarella. I like mozzarella cheese. But y'all know the crazy thing is, I'm not even eating this tonight. This is what they wanted. Thank you. I get in my feelings. I just thought I could dance for a minute, y'all. I know I can't. My mom think I can dance. But my body know I can't. See that? Put as much cheese as y'all like. I like a lot of cheese, and I think they do too. So. But I think this is about enough. I just don't like to see any patches. Okay. We gonna put a little more down here around the edges. Clean up my mess. Because I hate doing it later. Let me break it down. <laughs> okay, here we go. Focus. Yeah, there we go. Yes, sir. Check. We used to lay up in 
Okay. All right, so now, let me just clean up my mess a little. A little bit OCD sometimes, y'all. Uh, mm -hmm. Y'all see how fast my house get loud and then it get quiet? I love silence. Ever since that oldest girl moved out of my house, pretty much is great. Because she got a big old mouth. Okay, so we're going to take some pepperoni and I want y'all to just layer it on. Go through it. Layer, layer as much meat as you want on there. And you know they have the bigger pepperonis. I prefer those, but I couldn't find them. So we're going to go with these. And you just going to, like I'm doing right now, go ahead and layer it. Stop problems. Okay, y'all. So, yeah. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to start working on my friendships. I'm going to be better. Um... So, for y'all out there who I ain't been a good friend to, I apologize, but I did let y'all know I ain't one. I'm not a good friend, but I'm going to do better. Um, but I got some really good friends, y'all, who actually love me, and I'm, I'm so thankful to God for them. They even me out. My husband is great. I love the heck out of him. I do. The kids are, are good. They keep me, please, they keep me going, put it that way. I like, and it's crazy how my teenagers keep me young, you know? They keep me on my toes. They try to keep me hip. They got my husband, y'all, for to come in. So we're just going to go ahead and just do this all the way down. All the way through. Hey, Daddy. Almost done. Just do it all the way to the end till you got the whole thing covered. He's wet. They're just going to the store. All right. Let's see what we got. See that? I just do that all the way down. And then once on, I'm going to do black olives on. Hey, baby. Hi. Say hi. They can't see you, but... Say hi to Papa and, and Aiden waiting. That's my husband, y'all. Give me. Mm -hmm. ah. Hey, Woo Woo. Where Where Papa? Where Papa? Where Papa Piggy at? Papa Piggy. Where Papa Piggy at? Yeah. Your piggy. <laughs> <laughs> I got your piggy too. Baby, baby, say hi to everybody. Tell them to like, comment, and subscribe. What's up, everybody? Subscribe to my wife' uh, page or YouTube channel. YouTube, yeah, there you go. All right, y'all. So we almost done with this part. I'm gonna throw hey, some black olives on, too. throw it in the oven, and you put it in the oven until it's like a golden brown. Till you see all the 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 Where's sauce the trying to goop juice up, you know, bubble up. And I would probably 20 minutes, 25. But I'll say 30 minutes. Yeah, that'd be a good. That'd be good. And I, it looks like it took me one bag of pepperoni to cover the whole thing. So. Unless you get those bigger pepperonis, the ones that I said I prefer, I'm actually going to open up a bag for one more row. So I would say get two bags. Y'all, don't pay attention to that right there. Where is it? Alright. Alright. So, we are almost done, y'all. Then I said, put it in the oven. Let it get golden brown. Once this is cooked and golden brown, I will be back. Let's put the olives on first. And then when it's finished cooking in the golden brown, I'll come back to y'all. And let y'all see what it looks like. And I'm telling you, it is delicious. I usually just buy because they don't really eat olives around here enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and take probably two of those and do half. And then I'm going to show y'all. 
what it looked like, okay? You shouldn't actually be able to see any cheese. Okay, y'all. That's done. Let me show y'all what it looked like before it go in the oven. And then we'll come back and show y'all the finished product. Like I said, I'm only doing half in Black Olive because these people act funny around this place. Yeah. Hold it up. Let me show y'all. I'm the chemistry. See that? Going in the oven, we're gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on 400. All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, 30 minutes later. Here we go, finished product. Looking good, huh? There you go. See, I only did half in the olives, and then the other half is plain because, like I said, they're picky. So, there you go. Like I said, about 30 minutes 30 minutes or less in the oven. And you should be good. To okay, so that's it, you guys. It was that simple. Like I said, a 30-minute meal. Throw everything together, put it in the oven. You need two pounds of ground beef. You need your spaghetti sauce, any sauce that you like to use. Your rotini noodles. I used a box and a half. Also used a bag of the lasagna um, package that was in the hamburger helper box. Um, I used a little dollops of cream cheese in there, some mozzarella cheese, and a bag of blended cheese, any blended cheese that you want to use. Um, mix all that together. Mix your ground beef in, your onions. I used a small onion, one small onion, mixed it up, and um, that's it. Blend it all together. Put your pepperoni on top. Put your olives if you want olives. If not, leave them out. It's optional. And I got garlic bread in the oven, so... They are good to go. Um, I do want to go ahead and give a shout out to those who did take the time out to comment comment for me. So, Amanda God's Child West, thank you very much. Bridget Evans, appreciate you. Um, Coco J, I went ahead and subscribed to those who have channels also. So, share, comment, like. Share, comment, like. Subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe. So, and, and hit the bell so y'all can catch anytime I post videos. And also, Cherie Jackson, thank you, Cherie, Miss Jackson, for um, also commenting. Anybody else, I need comments. I want to communicate with you guys. So, thanks. This is Miss True, Miss True Redbone, and I'm out. Peace. Go.